Welcome, everyone, to another edition of Catalyst Wrestling. I'm your host, Stephen James, and last week saw the debut of J.D. Drake as the blue-collar badass joined forces with Rob Kiljoy and the Catalyst Wrestling champion, Colby Carino, as they did battle against the Catalyst Tag Team Champions, Hot Boys International. While Drake's debut was big news, the bigger news was Drake being the first person to ever pin Wrecking Ball Ligurski since his Catalyst Wrestling debut in 2019. That, well, that pissed off the big man. I'm here with Hot Boys International, and boys, uh, seems like the Ugly Ducklings finally got your number tonight. Shut up, dude. Yeah, shut up, bitch. God. Okay, cameraman. I'm gonna lay it to you straight. We may have lost the match, but what's most important at the end of the day is that these beautiful, oh God, these beautiful titles are still around our shoulders, 365 days plus, and it was a leap year. My, and oh God. No, what's important is J.D. Drake, no one makes me bleed my own blood. J.D. Drake, no one makes me fall. Jenny Drake, next time I see you, I'm coming for you, motherfucker, because all will fall to the wrecking ball! That would not be the only big development last week, as not only did we see the Catalyst champion in action, but we'd learn just who he'll be defending his title against in just three weeks' time. None other than the church's money, Black G's. Due to his recent victory over Harry Trajanian's former right-hand man and former Catalyst Wrestling Champion, the notorious 187 Homicide, Black G's punched his ticket as the number one contender. And while those stories are still developing, we have Monster Mac returning to action this week as he goes against the high-flying Diego Hill in our main event. But before that, the shooter, Killian McMurphy, looks to get back in the win column next as he takes on the debuting Cy Dow. Cy Dow, Cy Dow. I've heard, I've heard rumblings. I've heard rumblings of this land. How is the darkest place all around? Oh, it's the darkest land, huh? How can it be the darkest land without the darkest dude? So I, Elijah Proctor, I'm here to show you who the darkest dude is, and I'm gonna bring down a black rain of oblivion on this land. It's off with your heads. Are you a wrestling fan, boxing fan, or just want something cool to wear or show off on your next work call? Pro-Am Belts is your source for not only high quality championship belts, but plaques and chains. Celebrate your fantasy sports triumph, employee of the month bragging rights, or get the perfect gift for weddings, birthdays, even a treat for that special someone with Pro-Am Belts. Head to ProAmBelts.com now for a quote and more information on how you can become a champion today. Pro-Am Belts, the official championship makers of Catalyst Wrestling. This show is brought to you by Downtown Sports, where sports come home. They've had guests that include Kenny Albert, Ian Eagle, Pat Creighton, Brian Hoke, and more. To hear the best sports, listen to Downtown Sports, where sports come home. On Spotify, Breaker, Anchor, Radio Public, Overcast, Pocket Casts, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, CastBox, Bullhorn, Pod Bay, and Listen Notes. Downtown Sports, where sports come home. Experience the peak of New York nightlife at any of Sapphire's three locations in the heart of New York City. World-class food, world-class bartenders, and world-class entertainment and atmosphere, Sapphire New York will leave you wanting more. Find out on how you can have an elite experience at nysapphire.com. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. In this corner, he is the widow's son, Elijah Proctor. 
And in this corner. What happened to your dad? He is the Shamrock Shooter, Killian McMurphy. Shooter! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Catalyst Wrestling. I am Mr. Entertainment Harry Turgenian, joined by my colleague, the Killjoy, Stephen James, and we have some amazing action for you here tonight. A debut tonight of Elijah Proctor, the widow's son. Forever, okay? All the way from the sixth board. Oh, and now immediately going after the Shamrock shooter, trying to make a statement here. And smart to take advantage here. Killian McMurphy talking a lot of crap before the match started. Should have been focused on this opportunity. This hungry young talent making his debut. A lot of new faces here. Irish whip in the corner, up and over. In 2021, deep arm drag. Ooh. Spinning back elbow. Ah, yeah. Come on, big fella. Dropping him to big his feet. Fella. And again, talking okay. a lot of junk, okay. Killian McMurphy. Yep. Yeah. Snap oh. suplex. Killian Mc McMurphy Shooter! on a bit of a tear lately. Reminding himself what his own nickname is. Come on. Oh. Get up, the mother's widow's son's cousin's baby's mama's. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Elijah Proctor yeah. making his debut here at Catalyst Wrestling. And McMurphy oh, looking for it. Perhaps he's looking for the boy. That lariat. Oh, ringing him up on that top rope. Smart maneuver there by Elijah Proctor. And he's going to take full advantage here. He thought he was going to get that deadly lariat. The boy cover. Smart move to go right for the cover there. Try to take advantage. Not enough, though. Listen, I've never said that McMurphy is very smart, but he is very talented. He's very strong. It takes a lot to keep him down oh. in the ring. I mean, you know, you know mentally what? it's easy to keep him down. And I don't, trying to set up for that finishing maneuver. The son, is that what he calls oh, it? The, the boy. boy. The boy? Yes. Excuse me for, I don't even understand. Why is it called yeah. the boy? It's because he sons people. What, what does that even mean? Uh, he doesn't boy. even have any kids. I don't no. even, see this is what I'm talking about. He's never been very bright. He used to work no. for me, you know. And I fired him because no. he was too dumb. No. Yes. You know what Did it's you like fire to be him for ripping your shirt? <laughs> I gave him another up. By the way, that shirt was Egyptian silk. It was a, it was a gift from my girlfriend. It was practically a tart. All right, as the widow's son up, goes to that rear headlock, the chin lock. Ah, who's shooting now? Who's oh, shooting? there you go. Elijah Proctor giving McMurphy a little bit of his own medicine, a little bit of his, how, how does he like the crap talk? You can see the hate on the face. Yeah. Oh, oh, jawbreaker. Creating that separation that's needed here. Come here, stupid. Oh, back elbow. And another. Oh, there we go. What a backdrop. Going up top. By the widow's son, trying to take the most of his opportunity here. He's got to be very careful that beam there, but he's going to make the most of it. Oh, oh. Went for a senton and missed. Oh. And I got to oh. wonder if maybe not yeah, knowing the location, finish. if he hesitated. It looked it's like he had to make a split decision of how he was going to come off that top rope, and that was enough for Killian and McMurphy to move out of the way. Yeah. Well, the beams wouldn't be here if we weren't in a, a boiler room. We are not in a boiler room. It's a room that happens to have a boiler in it. Oh, no, no, no. oh catching okay. him. I got you now, big fella. Yeah! Follow a slam! And the boiler room is a bit of a step up for McMurphy. The last time I had him working for me, he was mostly working on the toilets. You know how, you know how no, hard it you is have to no get... respect. You know how hard it is to get fired from cleaning toilets? Well, maybe if you didn't lose all the money. Yeah, that, that is a rumor that is not substantiated. Thank you very much. Oh! A smart maneuver. A lot of Proctor taking advantage. Punt kick. And now going to the top rope again from a different corner. Looking to fly again. Now nails it. The center on from the top. One, two. And McMurphy kicking no! out again. And obviously look, look, some frustration. What a debut it would be if he could knock off the Shamrock shooter in his yeah. debut. Listen, Killian yeah. McMurphy, for all my disagreements with him, he has yeah. been here a long time at Catalyst Wrestling. Oh, and it would be a big deal for Proctor to beat a veteran of this company on his first night. Has him up, perhaps looking for that Widowmaker. McMurphy wiggling his way out of it. The boy nails him. That's it, it's over. Cover one, two. 
And that's all, all she with wrote. Your head, you stupid son of a bitch. As the Shamrock Shoot. Shooter stops the Widowmaker, the widow's Ooh, son, widow. dead in his tracks. Yeah. Elijah Proctor coming up short. Sending him right back down to Louisiana. Woo! Good grief. Tired of horror conversations beginning and ending around Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers? Top Cult, a brand new horror podcast from horror aficionados Kyle Davis and Blaze Dahl, is now available on YouTube. Covering underground to mainstream, be sure to check out topcult.com for upcoming episodes and events. Top Cult, it's what's for breakfast. If you want rebellion, if you want violence, if you want action, if you want wrestling, this is the DVD you need. Buy the uncensored, unfiltered, unhinged event that will make you feel something you haven't felt in a long time. The only show to step into the world of comedy. The show that brought homicide back to Brooklyn. This is New York City. This is Skankfest. This is Catalyst Wrestling. Skankfest 2019, available July 7th on DVD. My friend, my friend, you have a lot of potential, and I see it oozing out of you in that ring. Do not take this as a step backwards. Take this as the first day of the rest of your life. Come with me, step into my office. We have a lot to discuss. Come on, I promise I won't bite you. Ugh. Contest is scheduled for one fall. In this corner, Ski Monster Mac. And in this corner, it's that punk, Diego Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Catalyst Wrestling. I'm Stephen James, being joined by Mr. Entertainment Harry Tujanian, back on Side Al. Harry, where do you have us here? I, hold on here. Coast to coast to worldwide. I'm all over the place, son. 85 plus championships. What have you done? In fact, who the hell are you? Reading the riot act. <laughs> Don't get brave with me, son. Okay. Diego Hill about to me, son. about to earn his dues here. Being read the riot act immediately, Harry. Monster Max is going to do him a favor. He's going to take him to school, Stephen. Going to show this young punk. Dunk it underneath. And here comes Diego Hill, firing on all cylinders. A lot of energy from Diego Hill here against the Monster Mac. Steve, not many men would stand toe to toe. Ooh, but Diego Hill showing it. Oh, a second attempt at a clothesline is going to take a lot more to get Monster Mac. Sunset flip. Oh, but dropping the bottom out. Oh. Rookie mistake, and Monster Mac makes him pay for it immediately. And Monster Mac, as is the uh, phase in the industry, giving him a nice nickname. Monster Mac, the man about his money. I don't even count. You know something? See what I'm saying? I don't count. Headbutt to Diego Hill. Get off my back. In just his second singles match here in Catalyst Wrestling, and he draws. Welcome to Catalyst. Monster Mac. Come on. Oh boy, another nickname. A lot of nicknames today. It's very nice of Monster Mac to take this kid under his wing. Taking him under his wing. Oh! Coming over with that belly to belly overhead suplex. Cover one, two. Dropping him right on his back. Mac making him pay early. Diego Hill has a. Where's the smoke? Where? Monster Mac not buying into the hype. Of Diego Hill coming in here with a lot of potential. He lost his debut match as if that wasn't difficult to deal with enough. He ends up in the ring with the veteran and a man who considers himself. Rolling the through his hill. Wait a minute. Opportunity here. Oh, single leg. Dropping Mac to his knees. And not a feat that many men here in Catalyst Wrestling have been able to do here. But look at what it's taken out of Diego Hill. Barely able to get that boot up. And rightfully so, he's been taking a beating here. Mac is staggered. To the top. And a smart move. 
Smart move oh. using his momentum from the top rope. He doesn't, he's outweighed Wait. by Mac. Cover. One, One two. two. So what do you do? Force here, and momentum, get that weight, use it. Use every part of your body to take him down, but still, Monster Mac will not stay down. And again, from the top rope, Diego Hill. Oh, nobody home. And that's the veteran savvy of Steve Mack. Now saying say good night. Oh, oh this no. This can only mean one thing. Oh! Oh. Oh. 20 years of experience. Inside out goes Hill. You can count to a thousand. One, two, three. Bring him out. And Monster Mack victorious here on side out with a statement. The gatekeeper. Oh no. Are you moving? The oh. disrespect oh, no. from Diego yeah, Hill. No, it's not over here. Get up. Monster Mac considering that a level of disrespect, and I understand that. I don't blame him. Gets him up again. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Are you still moving? Oh no. Get the hell we gotta get somebody out here. Something. What are you uh. talking about? The training session is not over, Steven. Monster Mac is the gatekeeper in the locker room here at Catalyst oh, Wrestling. Day, and he's trying to teach a little bit of respect to Diego Hill. What's so bad about Diego that? Diego Hill is barely conscious at this point. Well, oh, oh. again. Monster Mac's giving him a wake up call. Stay down, kid. Stay down. I know you're not moving. I know you're not moving. Huh? And Diego Hill apparently refusing to stay down, according Wait. to Monster Mac. Refusing to stay down. He's still moving. He doesn't even know where he is at this point. I guess he didn't think that power bomb was strong enough. Do it again, yeah. Mac. Why not? Show him. Show this young punk, the self-proclaimed punk. This kid is going to go somewhere. Not today. Oh, he's going somewhere oh, oh, oh. for a oh, ride. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh. H.C. Loke hitting the oh, ring oh, no, here. No, no, no. What are you talking about? Loke trying to talk to Mac here. What? No, 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 no. You ain't got to beat up these young boys. Why not? You can't, what are you supposed to do? He didn't reach his back to be moving. No, no, no. Loke trying to defuse the situation here. Looks like he's finally calmed down Mac. Well, see, Loke is somebody he might respect a little. They, they have experience. We'll show these guys how to fight. You want to? Come on, man. I'm down with that. All right, All right, bro. I'll see you in a little bit. And then H.C. Loke checking on Diego Hill. Boy, these two. Experience the peak of New York nightlife at any of Sapphire's three locations in the heart of New York City. World-class food, world-class bartenders, and world-class entertainment and atmosphere, Sapphire New York will leave you wanting more. Find out on how you can have an elite experience at nysapphire.com. Pro wrestling, like all sports, have rules. We here at Catalyst Wrestling are here to teach you the rules of professional wrestling. In this edition, we look at the top rope. Over the past 30 years, the top rope has become a source of innovation in the sport of professional wrestling, but there's also been some controversy surrounding the precarious perch. While some organizations have looked at banning moves off the top rope in the past, Catalyst Wrestling understands the importance of using the entire ring as an instrument, the same way a great guitarist or bassist view their instruments. But the top rope can be a haven for those looking to evade an opponent, which is why when you're on the top rope, the referee will give you 10 seconds to come off the top rope. If not, you'll be disqualified from the match. While we've yet to see that here in Catalyst Wrestling, it's one of those rare rules that wrestlers will utilize to their advantage. And that is this edition of the Rules of Wrestling. Have a rule you want to learn about or have a question about the rules seen here? Ask us anytime on Twitter at Catalyst Wrestle. Tired of horror conversations beginning and ending around Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers? 
Top Cult, a brand new horror podcast from horror aficionados Kyle Davis and Blaze Dahl, is now available on YouTube. Covering underground to mainstream, be sure to check out topcult.com for upcoming episodes and events. Top Cult, it's what's for breakfast. Welcome to the Three Count, a look at some of the biggest matches and moments in Catalyst history. In this edition, we look to when the gold was on the line as we crash into the three biggest title changes in Catalyst history. At number one, we go back to 2018 when Sonny Kiss returned home to Jersey City and walked out of the colossal confrontation as an elite champion. Going perhaps for a frog splash. Go, oh no, no, no. Wait, wait, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh my oh. God! Wow! Oh no, right through the table. Giving one last goodbye to Matt Mackett. But the, wait a minute, Sonny Kiss, he's up. He's up. He nailed him. Cover one, two, three, he did it! At number two, we head to Brooklyn as the Sapphire television title went to a man who is more than blessed, KC Navarro. That's a hell and what is this on the outside? That's, that's wrecking Bologarski. What is he doing here? He just debuted here in the club. Oh! Gang home, waging a one-man war against all comers. Oh, but caught by Ligurski. Oh! Who sent Power him out bombed. here? Who sent him out here? And Navarro on yes. top. Finally, we make our way back to Brooklyn and to the latest chapter in the heated rivalry between then Catalyst champion Homicide and Kobe Carino. But Carino fighting back, looking for a clothesline. Oh, a knocking head to Janian right on his ass. Oh, but not paying attention it was Carino and Homicide capitalizing on it. Getting him up on the shoulders. Oh, and driving Homicide went to drive him into that exposed turnbuckle. Couldn't. Two count. Oh, oh. and oh. just avoiding it. Oh, no. No. This could be it. No. Come on. No. Two. Three. No. Yes. No. Yes. I want you to do the job. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Do the job. I'll take care of it. Do the job. Nobody. Not a referee. Not Colby Carino. Not God himself. Screws the promoter. Let's go. If you want rebellion, if you want violence, if you want action, if you want wrestling, this is the DVD you need. By the uncensored, unfiltered, unhinged event that will make you feel something you haven't felt in a long time. The only show to step into the world of comedy. The show that brought homicide back to Brooklyn. This is New York City. This is Skankfest. This is Catalyst Wrestling. Skankfest 2019, available July 7th on DVD. Yo, I thought I smelled crap, bro. Yo, I, did you not like want to show up today? Like, dude, that was horrible. You looked absolutely terrible out there. Yeah, you might have You look terrible. I'm not in the mood for your oh, bullshit okay, okay, today. Okay, all right, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh my God, yeah. Shooter, more like the shitter. Right? Keep it up, Martin. Keep it up. <laughs> 